Hey guys, this is Anatoly from Define Agile and today we're talking about another Jira tutorial, really quick one. We're going to talk about how to close a ticket in Jira. And there are multiple ways we can do that, so I'm going to I'm going to cover a couple of different scenarios. Scenario number 1, you want to close your ticket in Jira because you completed it successfully. So here I have my scrum project and I have a sprint board and let's say you're a developer and you start working on your issue. Let's say the issue is create sign up page. I have two stories. One story has some subtasks and one story just a regular story, but it does not really matter. It should not affect us here. So let's say I have this create sign up page with a regular story and I want to close it because it is done. Well, if it's done, I can move it in progress and I can move it to done or I can go inside of it and I can click it to done and it will be done. So I go back to my board. Now it's done. You see it's uh, strike through, which means the story is closed. It is done. But let's bring it back and let's assume I want to close it. I don't want to delete it, but I want to close it because we cannot fix it. It's just something that we cannot do anything about it or we don't want to work on it anymore. We just want to archive it, but not delete it. But so it does not appear in this board, for example. How would we do that? For that, we need to create a new status, which will be also done, but will be called in a different way. For example, will not fix. So let's create the status really quickly. For that, you also need to have admin rights. So if you follow along, you don't see anything I'm doing, you don't have admin rights. So be sure to get admin rights. But let's say you do have admin rights. Now you need to click on these three dots if you are in an active sprint. Then you click on board settings. And then we can go into columns. And in columns, we have the name of the column and a status. And then we can add a new status and we can add a column. So let's add a new status. A status will be done, category is done, because we don't want to, if it's not done, the time will be tracked on it and stuff like that. So we want it to be done, which means we don't want to work with it anymore. Let's call it will not fix. New status. Then click add. You'll see that there is a column here, unmapped statuses. Those are the statuses that does not appear on a board, which is exactly what wanted to happen. We want to close it, but it does not appear on the board. So we're just going to leave it here. If we want it to appear on any um, column, we can put that, uh, we can drag and drop it into any column. But well, we don't want to do that. We want to just close our ticket. So we create a status done we'll go back to our board then here create sign up page we need to go inside of it again and to the right there is to do done and will not fix so now we want to do we want to set it as will not fix and this it will disappear from our board altogether so we'll click on it we refresh and it disappears. So it's not there anymore. We just have one. So it's not here. Let's say you made a mistake and you're like, hmm, I want to see all my will not fix ones. Well, as I said, you can go to board settings. Let's say you can drag and drop it here and say everything that will not fix will also appear as done. Let's go to back to a board and here it appears again. So we're not deleting it. It does not disappear. You just have a status that is unmapped. So it will just be set as done and will be in this limbo state that will not appear on the boards, which is exactly what you need to do if you want to close it, but do want to set it to done. So these are two ways how we can do it. Why do you need different status? Well, if maybe you want to track something that you completed successfully, something that was not fixed and why it was done that way. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. 
If you think that brought you value, I would appreciate if you can like and subscribe to this channel because this will allow us to share this tutorial with more and more people and they will learn Jira. Finally, let's say you are happy about this tutorial and you want me to teach you Jira. Well, in a, click on the link below and I will teach you Jira and actually one day you will be able to manage Jira very, very successfully with stuff like permissions, workflows. We'll start very slow, like with stuff that, that we talked about today, but then we'll go into more detail how to configure boards, how to configure workflows, how to automate everything. So it's very, very useful. I highly recommend you uh, take me on this offer and sign up uh, going into the link below. Thank you for watching and I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.